Today I'm going to talk about why you should count macros, not calories. Each one of those macros has a different role in your body and based off of how much you consume is going to influence what you look like. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer by training, and today I'm going to talk about why you should count macros, not calories. So let's get started. Macros is short for the term macronutrients, and macronutrients are what make up the caloric content of food. Now, if you want to lose weight, the go-to system for dieting has been calorie counting, where you eat less than your maintenance level of calories to lose weight, you eat at your maintenance level of calories to maintain your weight, and you eat in a caloric surplus if you are looking to gain weight, or sometimes that's not intentional and people just gain weight anyway by eating too much. So all of that being said, that approach can only take you so far. So there is benefits to calorie counting and calorie counting does matter to a certain point. So the reason why it can only take you so far is because of this. Calorie counting will help you sustain a certain mass, but if you want to change your body composition, when I say your body composition, I mean the percentage of fat versus the percentage of muscle within your mass, you will do much better to count macros as opposed to calories. I've been receiving hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of emails this week alone of so many people asking me, I'm working so hard, I think I'm eating right, I'm working out every day, why am I not seeing results? What is this macros approach about? This macros approach is about indexing how many grams of protein, carbohydrates, and fat you are consuming on a daily basis. Now, the macros approach is not a diet. All it is doing is indexing how many grams of protein, how many grams of carbs, and how many grams of fat you are eating per day. Your macros can be in a caloric deficit, they can be at maintenance, or they can be in a surplus. So common thing a lot of females have been asking me is, I'm working out, I'm eating healthy, how come I don't look fit? The reason is you are not dialed in for your macros. To explain this very simply, each macronutrient has a certain role in your body. If you are only counting calories, you can be getting too much of some of the nutrients and not enough of the other. Common example is if you index and track your food for the day, just how you eat right now, the average person tends to eat significantly higher carbs and fat and significantly lower protein than they would need if they wanted to have a tight, lean, muscular appearance. And I think that when some people think that they're going to change how they eat, they think they're going to look big. If I hear one more woman say she thinks she's going to look like a man if she lifts weights and eats protein, it's completely flawed logic because if you look at this photo here, these are examples of my appearance when I am on contest prep, when I am dialed in with my macros, for shredding. So these are some great examples of what that looks like. Now, for you and your specific goals, it can be confusing and this is why. So a lot of you just don't know what your macros should be. So the first thing you need to do when you're figuring out your macros is you need to determine your BMR. Your BMR is your basal metabolic rate. That is how many calories that your body needs to sustain your current mass over a 24 hour period. So this is just how many calories you need to just have a pulse. So once you have that value, your BMR, the next thing you do, now the BMR, you can calculate it through online calculators. I've done several tutorials using two different equations of how to do so. You can use an online calculator to get that value. Once you have your BMR, the next thing you do is you add all of the activity calories you burn in a day. So in some of my videos, you will see I use an activity factor, but all essentially you're doing is taking that base number of calories, 
adding all of the calories that you're burning in a day. However, so once you get that, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your TDEE or your total daily energy expenditure. So once you have your total daily energy expenditure, guys, that is the value you need to be concerned with. So if you want to be at maintenance, you eat at that level. If you want to lose some weight, you would be in a caloric deficit from there. If you want to gain weight, you would be in a caloric surplus from there. That is the key value which will tell you what your calorie should be set at. Don't get me mistaken in saying count macros, not calories. Calories still matter, guys. And I think there's a lot of flawed thinking by some people who think that just eat real whole foods and healthy foods, and while that's great, but if you're eating lots and lots and lots of avocado and almond butter and steak and salmon, while those are all wonderful healthy foods, you still just need to make sure you don't eat too much of it, even though they are healthy foods. So macros matter, calories do matter. It would be more beneficial for you to reach your goals to focus on how many grams of protein you're getting, how many grams of fat, and how many grams of carbs you're getting in a day. And here's the reason why. Each one of those macros has a different role in your body. And based off of how much you consume is going to influence what you look like. So I'd like you to look at this graphic right here. There is a big difference between weight loss and fat loss. If you look at the graphic on the left, you can see an example of what typical weight loss looks like. When the average person loses weight, everything just looks smaller overall. And that's fine and that works because I know a lot of you are very pressed on getting to a certain number on the scale. While weight loss, yes, eat in a caloric deficit, you will lose weight, it works. However, if you want to lose body fat, you need to eat completely differently. So if you look at this graphic on the right here, this is an example of somebody who has lost body fat where you can see, yes, the person is smaller, but they are smaller in different places where the body would store a surplus of body fat. And the overall physique of the example of the after photo here of the person who has lost body fat is more of what a lot of you actually want. A lot of you are telling me you want to lose weight, but you actually just want to lose a little bit of body fat and improve and gain lean definition to your muscle. The only way to reveal those lines is to lose the fat that is in front of them. You can lose weight and still have a high body fat percentage and not look better per se, if that makes sense. So the key to this is counting macros. If you would like to know what your macros are, I encourage you to schedule a consultation with me. You can check out my services at gagegirltraining.com. Take care guys and have a great day.